Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I'm very excited to show you the Google Maps app which finally landed on the App Store last night or this morning, depending on where you are. Uh, now obviously this is just loaded up exactly where I'm living right now, which is that blue dot there. I wanted to show you some of the menu systems and the user interface before I dive into the maps and the different views. Now if I scroll across, uh, you can see that actually it's using a different type for mapping now, it's vector maps um, which means it's similar to the Apple Maps in that it just everything just loads really quickly if I zoom in and out and uh, twist it around, everything's just super responsive and you can see there's a lot of detail, you've got a lot of different streets in there now there's also this side tab here uh, which you can add in, say for instance you can add the traffic traffic information not available in this region, probably because I'm British. Public transport not available in this region. Satellite images should be available. There you go, that's loaded ridiculously quickly and again you can zoom in and out. Um, now obviously one thing that we really missed um, switching over to Apple's, I mean there's Google Earth there which you can use, it opens in a different window. Um, now. One thing that obviously Apple users have missed for the last few months is Street View. Now getting that is actually a little bit different. So I'm going to just search for a local street. I'll go Scotch Street. And you see it takes me there very, very quickly indeed. And now what you need to do is you scroll up from the bottom. You can share it, you can save it, it you can hit the car if you want directions or you can hit Street View and there it is really really smooth really fast and not any problems now if I drive through by pressing the arrow you can see it actually loads a lot quicker than the old one used to um, takes a little few seconds I guess to get the image really really sharp but overall the app is very impressive now if I go to the navigation mode once I've exited there we go let's hit the drive Okay, there's my location to Scott Street route options. Avoid motorways and tolls, that's fine. Um, let's go. And now we can start. Accept. Google Maps navigation is in beta, okay. Just in case it directs you into the middle of a desert. That's fantastic. I mean, that's something that you don't expect from a free app like this, but obviously Google's done a lot of work to make this as good as they can. Um, and that's your navigation with your directions at the top of the screen there. So overall, fantastic. Uh, I'm very pleased that it's here. The, the depth of knowledge that Google's built up and obviously the satellite images, etc. There's just no match for it on the market right now. So um, download it in the App Store if you haven't already. It's free. I'll put a link in the description box. And let me know what you think. Is it good? Is it better than the old Google Maps app? Is it better than the Apple Maps? Or do you just prefer to use the Apple one anyway? Let me know in the comments below and tweet me any of your questions at TIP underscore Cam. Ciao, ciao.